Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Joel Squig and today we're going to be finding out some interesting things about me which have something to do with Harry Potter. So there's a website where basically you can find out what your Harry Potter house is, what wand you'd have and what your Patronus is. So I'm going to go ahead and do all three of those today. First of all, I'm going to discover my Patronus. Basically, a Patronus is kind of like, um, I don't know, is it a bit like your spirit animal or something? You cast a spell and it's basically a creature. It represents you but in a creature form. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to go ahead and do the other tests too. Okay, so here we go. We can click begin. Alrighty, alrighty. Better with headphones while well, we got them in. Okay, oh, this is scary. This is, this is, this, this is kind of creeping me out. It's a bit loud. We're going to turn that down. Oh, we need to, we need to log in. This is, this is a little bit awkward. Okay, here we go. Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the, the Medventor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. Okay, cool. When do we get to choose it? Here we go. Begin. All right, all right, here we go. Relax, think of your happiest memory. How can I think of your happiest memory when this is like so scary? Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, uh, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen? I think it's the first thing that comes into our head, so glitter, shine, uh, glitter. How do I? Did I choose it? You must answer quickly, think of your happiest thought and try again. I don't know how to click it. I legit don't know how to choose the answer. Um, is the next one gonna come and I can choose it? Leaf blade, um... How do I...? There we go, okay, we did it that time. We managed to get it. The first one, I don't know what happened. We just couldn't, we just couldn't click it. So hopefully the rest we can do. It's a werewolf. Blood, bone, blood. Okay, okay, I think we just need to click it, not drag. I don't know why it told me to drag. This is well, this is... This is very spooky. Lead, save, escape. Uh, es lead, 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 lead. Give me it. And so instinctively, I can't, I can't click it. It won't let me click it. I'm trying to answer instinctively. <sighs> okay, this is going to probably be the wrong. Okay, stone, wood, earth, wood. Okay, there we go. We have to just hold it. We have to hold it. See, they should make it easier to click. So then I'm going to get all the wrong answers, aren't I, mate? I'm literally going to click... Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, nothing. They should make it easy to click, because I'm literally trying to click it, but I'm not being able to, so therefore I'm going to get a, the incorrect answer at the end. Silly. Okay, here we go. Lost, found. Um, I want to be found, you know? Okay. This is very, like, Tumblr. <laughs> I don't know. I should get them Tumblr vibes. Comfort, advise, impress. Comfort, definitely. This music, though, it's so scary. What the heck? It's getting louder. Uh, click and drag to release your Patronus. Oh, we're going to find out Patronus. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? A Manx cat. Ooh. That's quite cute. Look at it. I'm happy with that. I don't actually know what a Manx cat is. I'm going to search it. Oh, this is a Manx cat, apparently. It just looks like your basic cat, doesn't it? I mean, I'm happy with that. It's quite cute, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that we've got our Patronus, I think it's only right that we do the main, probably the main thing when you join Hogwarts, and that is join your Hogwarts house. So I might discover my wand and my Ilvonry house later. I'm not really sure what that means, but I think Hogwarts house is one of the most important. So let's go ahead and sort ourselves. So begin. Okay, so forest or river? Um, I'm gonna go river. I like rivers. It's nice and cool. Okay, after you have died, what have you most... What would you most like people to say when they hear your name? Miss but smile. Miss you but smile. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. That's how they think of me alive that counts. Oh my god, that's quite funny. Think with admiration of your achievements. Ask for more stories about your adventures. I mean, I think this is the most likely, you know? Okay, if you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you like to take with you why are there so many is there a minx cat because that's what we just found out we were oh none of these toads i hate i don't like toads uh, a barn owl that's cute snowy owl that's cute brown owl yeah think a brown owl white cat minx cat is that there is the minx cat there no it's not okay um i want to go for the actually would i really want an owl owls kind of i'm kind of scared of birds so actually i'm gonna go a cat because I don't really like birds. So just a black cat, a ginger cat, a Siamese cat, a tabby cat. I'm gonna go a tabby cat, yeah. Select. Four boxes are placed in front of me. Which one would you try and open? Small tortoise shell 
embellished with gold inside which some more creatures seem to be squeaking. Mm. The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be marked on Merlin. Oh, the ornate golden casket standing in the clawed feet. No, uh, the small pewter box unassuming and playing with a scratched message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. Ooh, I think I go that one. Yeah, that one. What am you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition, being able to materialise and de demiratise at will, every area of magic I can, all about magical creatures and how to befriend and take care of them, hexes and jinxes, flying on a broomstick, heck yeah, definitely the broomstick one, who wouldn't want to fly, okay? Late at night, walking down the street, you hear a peculiar cry you believe to be a magical source. Do you proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbance? Draw your wand to try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground. Uh, what was the first one? Withdraw into the shadow and await developments. Uh, probably that one. Well, if you're hiding, it's going to make yourself look weak. So actually maybe going for it would be better. Okay. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study. At Hogwarts is about to smash, crush and tear several implacable items, treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the trolls club if you could? First, a neatly perfected cure for a dragon box. The student records going back 100 years finding a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. There's so many options, I can't be bothered. Okay, I'd probably go this one. They're all the same basically, just in different orders, but I would go the student records and then the mysterious book full of hand and then the dragon box thing. Okay, cool. Heads or tails? I'm always tails when I do this sort of stuff. Tails. Hufflepuff! Oh, we are Hufflepuff. You know what? Not surprised, but yellow, that ain't my colour. Uh, the badge is cute though, although Hufflepuff's kind of like the stupid one that everyone just laughs at, so I'm not sure how I feel about that, but you know what? I'll take it. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here as it has been quite a long video, you know, surprisingly. If you guys want me to go ahead and do part two to find out what one they would have and the other thing, which I can't remember the name of, then go ahead and leave a comment and leave a like too. Sorry about my appearance this video, it's very dark. I'm recording this at like pitch black outside, so hopefully you guys can get over that and I'm not using a proper camera, I'm just using my webcam. Thank you so much for watching this video have enjoyed please be sure to smash a like and i'll see you guys next time goodbye